Yeah, go. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing a tripod from Yulanzi and Coleman. Magic. So this is the new tripod from Eulens and Coleman and it's an update for the Zero Y Trouble tripod. This time it's coming with an F38 bow head on the top, hence the name Zero F38. So to try this tripod in a real life situation, we went to New Brighton because it's usually a bit windy there and we want to see how it will cope with elements, so that's a great place to test out this tripod. Now we're here in New Brighton to test out the new Yolanzi and Coleman Zero F38 tripod and as you can see it is quite windy right now so I'm really sorry about the audio and first of all whenever I'm out shooting I don't normally bring tripod with me because I have to think about the weight of my backpack because they can be quite heavy and big so whenever I'm out shooting alone those are the certain cases when I would need a tripod but with this one I don't need to think twice because I can just pop it in my backpack and even if I won't use it, it still won't weigh my backpack down. It's quite small, it's very lightweight, and I like how it looks. It's very sleek, and I like it. I just like it. One of the reasons why I love this tripod, because whenever I'm using my A7 IV, which we are using right now to film, it already has the falcon cage and the half cage, which has a built-in F38, which means it's very easy to mount it on this tripod because it has the F38 right here. So right now I'm using our Sony A7 R3, which already has a falcon accessory <laughs> at the bottom plate and also in its color. So I'm going to show you <laughs> How to mount this on a tripod? Jesus. Now we're back here again in New Brighton because, as you've seen, it was very windy. Almost got blown away, but luckily I survived that. So now we had to go back again. But today it is sunny and just a little bit windy. So I can say we are quite lucky today. So I can now continue reviewing this tripod. What I love about this tripod is it's all lever based. So it's very easy for me to open it up. You can just do that in one go and extend it. And as you can see, it just takes a second to do that. And once you stop shooting and want to put away your tripod, it's also as easy and quick just like opening it and close it in one go. How cool is that? Now I have my tripod set up. So for a windy situation, you want to have extra stability so you can always hook your bag at the bottom. So now I'm ready to shoot. Because of the F38, it's very easy to slide your camera in. And the cool feature about it is that the bubble leveler is also visible because for some tripod, when you mount your camera, you won't be able to have access to it anymore. So with this one, you can make sure that your photo is leveled properly. So to operate your ball head you just have to open this lever right here and as you can see it's very easy to move it around and once you get the right level for your photo we're ready to shoot so when it comes to tripods there are three properties that quite matters the first one how sturdy the tripod is and the second one is how compact how portable it is and the third one is usually the weight how lightweight or how heavy the tripod is. Now these three properties, just like with the exposure triangle, you have the kind of like a tripod triangle. So you can't affect one property without affecting the other two. When it comes to travel tripods, they are trying to balance between the compactness and being lightweight. So obviously they have to sacrifice a little bit on the sturdiness side. So you have the tripod, it's very easy to carry around, but I wouldn't put a very heavy setup on it. So for example, like a Sony 200-600, no, definitely not for this tripod. But this little Olympus is just perfect. So that's why I really like it because it's a perfect companion for my Micro Fortress setup and I can just carry it around and, and have it with me all the time. So to say the height of the tripod is really great. It's quite tall and with the center column all raised up, you can see it goes way over my head, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> but it comes with a price. Normally I like tripods that opens the leg about 24, 26 degrees because that gives like a nice stable 
ground based area now this tripod only goes to 20 degrees which means that on the bottom of the base area is a little narrow so that can cause the tripod easier to tip over in a windy weather like this just make sure you always hook something to weight it down and uh, stop accidents from happening so the narrow opening has a bit of advantage as well because let's be honest this would be the most sturdy not the most stable but the most sturdy because now all the legs are lining up with the gravitational pull so there's no bendiness which will create a bit of rebound and, and just a little unstable. you know what I mean as you can see overall you get a, a nice compromise here because because of the narrow opening you have a higher tripod and it can take a lot of weight, but I think it can take up to 18 kilograms. The legs, the ball had only three kilos, so you're not putting a, a heavy setup on it. <laughs> but you can put lots of weight and that, that will stop the tipping over, which is a risk with the narrow opening, but you get a more sturdy tripod, which is, I think, a great compromise. You did a right choice with it. For a travel tripod, this will do. But if it would be like my hiking tripod, probably I would like to a little bit more opening. So just like any other tripods, this tripod comes with a nice little carrying pouch as well. But unlike any other tripods, I don't leave this one at home. The reason why I don't use it with the other ones, because normally, just like anyone else, I put the tripod on the backpack. But that means anytime I need a tripod, I have to take off my backpack, which is a little hassle, isn't it? But this one is a perfect companion for my Olympus bag right here because I can just hang it here on the side and anytime I need it, I can just quickly take it out and ready to go. There is one complaint I would have about this one that Yulanzi gives a little uh, spikes for this tripod feet so you can just unscrew the rubber ones and use the spikes. If this bag would have a little pocket here where I could just put in the spikes or put in the rubber feet when I'm not using it, it would be perfect. That's the only thing I'm missing. So as you can see, I can grab the tripod very quickly and then I can just grab my camera very quickly as well. And here we go, I'm ready to shoot. When you want to do some low angle shots, then uh, this tripod gives you a few options. First one, obviously you can just open the legs up more and you can also shorten the center column using this little tool tucked here in the bottom I will show you that in the studio because it's just too cold too windy for do it now uh, but once the tool is out you can just take out the center column just put it back in at the bottom reversed let me put this back in for a little safety lock it and now I can just use the tripod like this so i can go all the way down to ground level which is really great so here i wanted to go down all the way because i have this uh, little shells here in the foreground and i have the Bershock lighthouse there in the background i wish the clouds would be a little bit better there are really nice clouds that way nothing this way but that's what i have i have my little olympus here with a seven and a half lower and i'm shooting an hdr so that's why i'm using the tripod and it's just ready to go. Now back here at the studio, and as you've seen, the UK weather didn't disappoint. Um, I think the tripod did better than we did. It stood well, and you see me almost flew away from the wind, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was really rough out there on the first day. We had, we had like a massive storm. Yeah, mm -hmm, uh, I got cold that day, so I'm blowing nose all day <laughs> and, and having hot drinks left and right. So I promise that I'm going to show you one thing, which is how to change the center column into a shorter one. Now with other tripods, you often have to carry a short center column and a long center column with you to be able to, to go down to ground level. But with this one, if you just raise the column a little bit, there's a, a line here, and uh, then you just turn the head all the way to the sides and grab this little tool from the bottom, uh, which is on the other side of the hook. So that's why this has this long... Yeah, I was wondering what's that for, like, what is it? Yeah, as you can see, it has a, a hexagon uh, Allen key here at the bottom. So, cool. so you put it in, in the tripod, and then you can just unscrew 
the screw inside Ooh. and this part comes off so now you can go all the way to ground level which is a real brilliant idea because you don't have to carry around first of all you don't need a tool because here it's included you don't need to carry around two center columns because it's technically two in one <laughs> this tripod comes with these three little spikes down here so this is great to put at the bottom of your tripod as you can see it's very easy to screw it out and then screw this little spike in so this one gives a bit more stability so you can stop this on like soft terrain or ice it prevents your tripod from sliding it's a really cool handy accessory but you can't trust this with me because i'm gonna lose it real quick right So now your lens is running an offer where you get another center column with a standard uh, top with a quarter 20 inch uh, thread so you can put any head on it a ball head if you want uh, with orchestra so i got this you u 190 video head this is a really good one I, I like it it's really handy when we out shooting videos it has a very nice rebound and, and it's very nice damp and very lightweight so you can just carry it with you and uh, you can remove this handle as oops so i just hit the mic sorry so you can just remove the handle and then cool. store it easily it's very handy and and i'm really grateful that they're giving this extra bit uh, which shows that they really dedicated to their customers now having a quarter ton here is quite usual nowadays so you can put one uh, magic arm here to have a phone or a screen or anything but you only went a bit further and they have two little crevices here so you can have a, a, a plate that goes in and it stops it from turning because many times i had this uh, little mistake with magic arms that if you put it in the way that the weight will unscrew it then it just goes off that sometimes. happened to me when i was vlogging <laughs> it was it? annoying yeah 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 so here we go but i'm a little baffled because this is just too narrow if you have like for example atomos ninja v with the locator pins that's just very slightly wider so it doesn't go in here oh. so I, I wonder what accessory can go in here using these crevices i think this is a missed opportunity to have such a, an accessory that you can just screw it in and then it will have an f22 plate so it will be perfect companion with an f38 because Falcom has both system the f22 f38 we did a review of the system before and another one coming soon so make sure you subscribe so i hope that in the future either Falcom or ulanzi will release something that I can just screw in here and then I have an F22 plate here with F22 magic arms and, and like loads of accessories that Falcon provides. As you can see this tripod is really really short um, it's I think 42 centimeters when it's folded down yeah. but to have a more universal measurement you can see that it's just an apple over two bananas so you can see the size is really great, so Ulanzi is perfect at that. Can you keep a serious face? It's a serious review. You know? I know, sorry. Unbelievable. <laughs> Out. <laughs> so, now to keep this professional. <laughs> All right, come back. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with this tripod. I'm sure it's gonna be a, like a permanent companion for my Micro Forte setup because it just fits the idea of small and compact and it's, it's a fairly stable type of but to be honest when I'm going for hikes where it needs to cope with a bit more elements and I need really need the extra stability I might take uh, my own tripod but that's the whole point that you have to know that this tripod is not designed to be the ultimate tripod so for example astrophotography you probably won't do no. with this one the purpose of this tripod is exactly hint is in the title to carry around when you're traveling around you want like family photos you just drop it on the tripod and do it like that or, or you you can do long exposures with it as well i think if it's not too windy i think it will cope very well and um, maybe even wide angle astrophotography but as i said there's this uh, tripod triangle so there are tripods that are heavy and, and 
extremely sturdy. So you need to know that what you sacrifice to gain what. So if you're looking for a tripod that you can just really drop it in the back, carry around with you and, and will do the job in like 90% of the scenarios, this tripod is definitely one to go. And as I said, there's two versions of the Zero Y with an Arca Swiss stop and the F38 from Falcom. I highly recommend the F38 system. It's, it's a really brilliant. I really like it. There are lots of extra stories. Uh, we use the half gauge and the cage as well, depending on what job we do for the A74. I would definitely take this with me. Although, I, when I'm shooting, I'm mostly using handheld because I'm mostly using, yeah, I'm shooting little kids, so I can use strappers on that. But in some situations where I'm filming on my own, this will be great with me. So I don't need to bring like big tripods with me. This will just pop in on my side pocket, my favorite yeah. camera bag. It's just great. It's yeah. Perfect fit. Uh, and yeah, we used another travel tripod before, and that was a bit more chunky uh, and nowhere near as stable as this one. So the legs, uh, you can see that it has five uh, section legs, which travel tripods usually do. I would say that's the kind of like the limit. I prefer three or four because the more sections it have, the more joints it has, so the more stability is losing. Each section gets narrower and narrower. Yeah. This one goes down to from. 25.5 millimeter to 12 so as you can see it's it's a pretty narrow but still because it's carbon fiber it's very sturdy and yeah it's just just make sure that you don't accidentally step on it or something because <laughs> carbon fiber is prone to break easier than let's say the, the aluminium or magnesium alloy tripods so just take care of it Actually, you're talking about maintenance. <laughs> now, uh, you said that you like this uh, lever system. I do. It's easy it's for so me. much quicker like this. Personally, I like the twist lock because... Why? I think that it's easier to maintenance. I guess it's like maintenance? Yeah, because you can technically take apart the tripod. Oh, you can't take this off? N no, I suppose you need to undo these little screws. Oh yeah, I'm mentioning about those screws. Uh, the tool inside here can tighten these screws. Oh, it, amazing. Right? Yeah, yeah, so sometimes by time, you know, they loosen up a little bit. Yeah. So you just need to re-tighten, but it's just a... Uh, what are you doing? It's just a hexagon key that you have here. So you always have the tool with you. That's brilliant. So you mean the twist lock is much easier to clean? Because I know that after we're shooting in the sandy beach, you yeah. actually need to clean it. Otherwise, it's yeah. going to scratch your tripod. It could damage it. You know, for example, uh, we had this uh, on New Brighton that sand went inside, yeah. inside here and I, I was unable to open it up because the sand was blocking this mechanism. Uh, we just screw one that it might go like, you know, like crunchy and all yeah, these true. noises yeah, and keep like hitting this one. Uh, and also, as I said, you can take it apart, just put it under the shower, clean it up and then just dry it. This one as well, it went really sandy because I was pushing it down in the sand to say that here it isn't jammed up. I just put it under the shower for a few seconds and, and now it's like back as new. It's, I think it's like a personal choice that which one you prefer. I prefer the twist lock, she prefers the lever, simple as that. I understand why they choose this one and it's really easy to operate like in one go you open up all and in one go you close them all. This makes it really really quick, so, which technically when you're on a, a holiday trip having where you're using a travel tripod it's just good that the family doesn't have to wait hours for you while you're setting up the tripod. I hate that. Right now this tripod retails just under 400 pounds in Amazon or slightly cheaper in Ulysses official website which is about $370 which just shows how unfairly everything is priced here in the UK at the moment. Hence the thriving grey market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very, very true. Uh, photographic equipment here is just same price as in dollars, but the pound is obviously worth much more. Yeah. So it's just crazy. And yeah, first it might sound a little bit steep, uh, but if you think about the other tripod that this one is compared to a lot <laughs> for obvious reasons, you have to pay almost double, I think, uh, for the carbon fiber version, but you're getting technically the same. These tripods are head to head, so why would you go for the more expensive one when you get a better value here? And for the price, you get a lot 
So compared to other uh, travel tripods, this offers just much more. It's more stable than the ones we used. Uh, it's, it's even more compact, about the same weight. And the F38 head is just makes it much easier for us. But again, what Ulanzi managed to pack in this tripod for this price is, I think it's a really good value. So if you can afford it and you want to have the best travel tripod out there, I would say this should be number one on your list. The difference is that it comes now with an F38 top, hence name Zero F38. Oh, it's on my queue. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Flop. Uh, for me, it's recognizing where's the eye. It's, uh, for you, it's like, I think it's a face. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Then that one. Oh, okay. Jump cut that one, stupid. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, have you seen my measuring device? It was just here. Which one? You know, the universal one, the standardized. Sorry. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you still haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys on our next video.